Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the latest features available in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Doodly's latest update, version 2.9.10, is packed with three great new features and various bug fixes and improvements. Here's what's new. First, there's a new timing option in the right-click context menu of the timeline. This allows you to modify the start time of audio and of panning and zooming segments. Plus, you can enable automatic shifting so that any timing changes that you make will automatically adjust everything coming after it. And I will go through this in a few minutes here. The second new feature is the ability to insert voiceover at any position in the audio timeline. This allows you to record audio between recordings in the audio timeline. And then the third and final new feature is the delay seconds tag for your split subtitle files. Now you can control the timing of the subtitles so that they match up with your voiceover. Simply add the tag and specify the number of seconds after the break tag. Now, of course, I'm going to show you all this. So let's go ahead and dig in deeper. The new timing option is my favorite out of these three new features. As you may have encountered, making a timing change early in your video, so you know, if you made a little timing adjustment down here, it would affect all of your camera movements and audio adjustments downstream. So, you know, if you shortened this, these would now no longer be in the proper place. The new timing adjustment feature will help with that. Now, it's not perfect, it's a little bit funky, I would say, but it definitely helps. So it's worth taking some time to get familiar with it. And let's just take a quick look at this video, okay? So you'll see I have a subtitle here. My guy comes on and then I have a camera movement as he draws the arrow on here. But then I've got like five to seven seconds of dead air. I want to close that up. I really I like the new timing feature. The other camera movements and voices down the line. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So right here, I want to shorten this, okay? And just notice where my camera movement is located here. So it's right at the beginning edge of this scene, and so is my voiceover, okay? So just, just kind of remember that, and then these will also shift as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our adjustment. We're gonna turn this to two seconds. So we've removed five seconds, remember that. Hit apply. Okay, and I understand it's alarming because everything shifted except for the camera movements and the audio. Well, what you wanna do is go to your first effect and just kind of hover over it and then right click on it and click timing. And remember that five seconds. So it's 1652 right now. We wanna change that to 1152. Okay, so I took away five seconds. And so that, now we want it to come in over here, right? And then I want to do, in this example, enable auto shifting because I want everything else that follows to also be moved over by five seconds. So hit apply and boom, all of my camera movements are right back where they are supposed to be. And then we want to do the same thing for our audio. So go over here, right click, hit timing it says 1638 well we want to take away five seconds so 1138 and choose enable automatic shifting and click apply and everything moved down now this is super helpful when you have a lot of these movements and audio clips that you're working with so now you don't need to be quite so nervous about making changes early on in your video the next feature is the ability to insert your voiceover to any position. So you have your little audio track here, right? And in the past, it was kind of sequential. You had your first one here, the plus sign. And then once that was recorded, you had another plus sign right after it. Well, what if you wanted your recording to be way down here, not down there? Well, you'd have to record it and then drag and drop it. Well, now you can just right click in the timeline and choose record audio and it will record it exactly where you placed it. So I'll just do a quick one here. Testing one, two, three. And there it is. 
I could do one right here in between the two. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing. Okay, and then it keeps going if you're um, if you bump up into this, and then you can just kind of fine tune it. And then finally, add the ability to control the timing of the split subtitle to match the voiceover. So we're going to use the delay seconds tag right after the break tag. So over here, I'm going to do a voiceover. Okay, so bear with me. Doodly's latest update version 2.9.10 is packed with three great new features and various bug fixes and improvements. Okay, so don't worry too much about my little mistake there. We'll just pretend it's perfect, okay? But what I want to do is adjust my subtitles so that they match a little. So if we do the preview, you'll notice the entire sentence is showing up. Well, maybe I want it to say Doodly's latest update first, and then version 2.9.1 next, and then it's packed with all of this, okay? So what do I do? Well, as you know from last time, if you add the break tag, it will break it wherever that's placed, like so. So let's just take a look at it real quick. Doodly's latest, Doodly's update. latest update, version 2.9.10, is packed and with three great new final. features. And what if we wanted to control the delay a little bit? So let's let's make it one second here. So we're gonna go delay colon one. And now there's gonna be a delay, a one second delay before version 2.9.10 pops up. So there should be a delay here. Doodly's latest update, version 2.9.10, is packed with three great... So let's do one with a longer delay. So I'm going to say I really, really like it. Okay, so I'm going to have a three second delay between that. So let's just see how that looks. And that's going to be, I think, on this scene. So let's just preview that. I really like the new timing feature. Really, really. One, two, three, ten. Oh, my scene's not long enough. Okay. Well, we can change that. We can do our scene settings. Let's add three seconds, so 7.5. And remember, now all this stuff down here, I'm going to right click, choose timing, and I'm going to add three seconds. So instead of 1492, it's going to be 1792. Enable automatic shifting. So my audio moves down. Let's do the same on my camera moves. And so that's going to be 2374. Enable automatic shifting. And those move down. And just one final little note. If you just need to make an adjustment to one item and you don't, you don't want the other ones to be affected. So let's just change this a little bit, just a touch. I'm not going to do enable automatic shifting this time and hit apply. Okay. A little further. And that just affects that one. In any case, I'm always happy when we get some new features in Doodly. So go ahead and play around with it and hopefully it will help you improve your doodling experience. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching. Bye.